Hi, this is TNA Knockout Gail Kim, and keep watching The Roman Show. This is The Roman Show. Rudolph Roman of The Roman Show with the beautiful and talented Gail Kim getting ready for lockdown in Miami, March 9th on pay-per-view. Great matchup, title on the line, inside a steel cage. We were yes. talking prior, not too many females wrestle too often in cages. Oh, I mean, this, this will be my third time, no, actually, maybe fourth time in a cage. Um, so I'm well seasoned in the steel cage matches, but it's always something special. And I think the fans get really excited. You know, the feud with Madison Rain and I, um, it's gotten such a great positive response. The fans are really into it. So I'm really excited this Sunday and I really feel like um, I really got to bring it, you know, and I, I have confidence in myself. Gail, well, you got Madison Rain, a good feud you got going on. Tell me what people are going to expect on Sunday. I think, you know, two weeks ago we had a street fight and a lot of the fans, uh, I mean, it got such a great response and it was pretty hardcore and I think that this is going to bring it to another level. And, you know, I always have this kind of pressure to uh, deliver to the fans and uh, I love it though. I, I thrive on it and after being in this business for 14 years, you know, this is who, who I do it for, the fans. And I just want to deliver and give the fans the greatest match on Sunday. And I think that we will. We will seal the show. And Gail, one thing about TNA that I've always been a fan of is the knockouts. I mean, yes. you guys always deliver all the time. The current side of the TNA knockouts, your, your, your opinion on it, and what can people expect in the near future? You know, I think the most common response that we've had in the last couple of years is that we need more knockouts. And um, I think that the girls that we have now are very talented. We've been keeping it stable. And I think in the next couple of months, we're going to see a lot more changes, great changes, positive changes, uh, maybe some new faces, old faces, who knows, you know, uh, I think it's all going to be a real surprise. But no matter what, you can count on the knockouts to be physical and really bring it to the ring, uh, bring it in the ring and be the best in this business today. What can you tell us about women's wrestling nowadays? It seems sometimes they don't get enough attention right. and you ladies always bring it. You know, yeah. we're in an MMA gym yes. and, and women are doing it right now in yes, MMA. I love it. I love Rhonda. I know she's a heel and, um, <laughs> but you know what? I just watched her once and I was blown away by the fact that number one, we have shown that women are a draw in this business and you know, MMA and pro wrestling. And the fact, I mean, she's intense, I, and I love that. I, you could see the passion, and I think that, you know, that's a lot of what fans like about me is that they can see my passion, and I truly do love this business. I love the fans, and the thing about being a woman in this business is there's an extra pressure to, I mean, I've always felt it in 14 years to deliver and be better, and I just want everyone to say, wow, the girls were just as great as the guys, and we really enjoyed that match, and it's not all about, you know, our looks, and of course we want to be beautiful, but we also want to be entertaining and be great as well. Ironically enough, this March, uh, this month is Women's Month. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's okay. March. Well, so then we got to blow them away, right? If you, if you yeah. wouldn't have done wrestling, would you ever done mixed martial arts? Have you ever thought about it? You know, if I had the background, I could definitely see myself doing it. But now, you know, at my age, it just seems unrealistic. But I, I have to give credit to those girls. If I had the background of some type of martial arts or wrestling when I grew up, I would definitely be doing that, yes. You know, we sometimes see some uh, female professional wrestlers as after a certain amount of time they leave after five, yeah, six years. Yeah. Get, what, what do you think that is and what do you think is the key to keep going strong in this business? I think definitely passion is one of those things that, I mean, of course there's luck to it, and but if you're passionate, you will definitely keep on going no matter what. I was fired uh, when I first entered this business on television in WWE after two years and I did lose my passion because they killed my passion. But you know what? I found it again. TNA helped me find it again and I think when you have that inside and you have that drive you just got to keep on going and then look I've been wrestling 14 years on television maybe 10 and um, I feel like I've got years to go dream match is yeah. there a dream match for Gil Kim you would love to have one day past oh or, or or current uh, I definitely like to do things I've never done before so maybe a submission type match and whoever that may be I don't know who the opponent is um, there's a lot of talented girls out there it's just being used to their potential um, I do want to wrestle Beth Phoenix again and I know she's in retirement but maybe that'll happen one day uh, I think Natty is really talented um, 
You know, I want to wrestle Taryn Terrell again because we've had so many great matches, historic matches. So we got to have the rubber match and see who's going to take it all. Um, but when she comes back, I think that'll happen. And um, I don't know, any great talents. I'm, I'm so for women being in this business in a strong way. Um, I just want the future to be great. You're definitely leading the way and, yeah. and, and inspiring a lot of young girls as well. Thank you. Thank you, Yo, thank you so very much. Thank Look you. forward to seeing you in action against Rain. Lockdown TNA pay-per-view March 9th. Coral Gables tickets are already on sale. Do not miss it. This is The Roman Show.